Uh, you told me you had a rant about Subway. Okay, Subway. <laughs> uh oh. Here we go. It's quick and painful. <laughs> so the rotisserie chicken is a new sandwich they've got, right? Yes. Pretty I, goddamn I, good. Is it good? Okay. Pretty goddamn good. It tastes like real chicken, which is weird for Subway. Uh, it's good. It tastes, it, I don't know, it's like school lunch chicken. Ugh, I can okay. imagine. But this rotisserie shit, pretty good. You know, it's Subway, but it's the fucking... The bee's knees! Yeah, it's the bee's knees! You know, and uh, and it's good. So I've been getting that for the past, like, couple months, just now, you know, off and on. That's my go-to myself. But Subway, right at the Walmart. Mm. You know what I know one of the most embarrassing things in the world? What? I don't know if it's embarrassing or if it's like a power move. Just walk into a Walmart and only get Subway. <laughs> but anyway, Subway. Get your shit together, you fucking pieces of shit. This sandwich is delicious, but guess what? What? When you scoop it out, yeah. there's a bunch of fucking water and liquid at the bottom of it. It's just from, you know, it... Condensation. Constant, yeah, because it's probably frozen. Yeah. Whatever. It's still pretty goddamn good. And it just sogs up the sandwich, like the bread. Uh -huh. And it is like eating glue. Heartbreaking day for me yesterday when I got this sandwich, because one side of it... Mm -hmm. Completely just sogged. Sogged. Like it was in a swamp. Sad, like sad. a swamp bread. Right. So oh. I take swamp one side bread. of it off. The bread. So now I just have like a flat bread. So it's kind of like a, fl a, a flabby tortilla. <laughs> yeah. Bread tortilla. Bread. <laughs> and then like the middle uh -huh. of the sandwich where it's connected. Yeah. That gets the soggiest and the grossest. Well, of course, because it's the center. It's the, whole, it's the nucleus. Ugh. The nucleus of this. It is honestly. Swap it's like paper sandwich. mache, like just wet glue. You don't get it's it toasted. So, it is toasted. Oh my I god! Because don't, don't, it doesn't toast far enough inside the bread to fucking get. You know, it's you already would, too you soggy. You would think that it would toast. It's it already too it would soggy. Dry it up. It'd dry it out. It's already too goddamn soggy, and it doesn't. The, the last fuck? two sandwiches, the last two rotisserie chickens I've gotten from there have been like that. And the first one I was like, oh, I it can might be just that Subway though. Have you thought about that? No, they're from they're separate Subways. Oh no. Yeah. So it's a it's a nuclear problem. It's a. It's a Epidemic. It's, it, it, holy <laughs> shit. This is like mad cow. It's a real thing. Somebody. Why isn't CNN talking about this? Alright guys, what is up? Welcome to episode 36, I believe, of the vlog of my vlog. Uh, if you're not familiar with me, I am John Clauser. That is me. Uh, so it is Thursday, and today is the first day of me starting vlogging this week. Uh, yeah, I know, I totally, totally shit the bed this week when it comes to that. Uh, so the big thing right now I'm gonna do, I was gonna go and fly my drone, but the thing is it is way too windy. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some location scouting and then tomorrow, because tomorrow's supposed to be better, then I'm going to go and uh, fly my drone. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I have made it down to Platte Landing Park, I believe that's what it's called, but it's right next to the Missouri River and like I said I was gonna fly my drone today but it is way too windy now uh, so I'm starting to realize that maybe it is smarter for me to get up even earlier fly my drone in the morning do all my all like the like flying like the main like drone flying during the day before I go to work and then do all like my b-roll footage and all that stuff in the afternoon Yeah, it is like ridiculously windy right now, but I am getting some really cool shots and the fact that this area is actually really awesome in the sense of the fact that like I can literally go right next to the water, but what's also cool is the fact that like it just goes... Alright, hey guys, what is up? So I just realized, one, that my camera was on manual, so I don't know if all the footage so far at the beginning of this vlog was uh, in focus or not. But, the cool thing is, I did find a location where I want to shoot some drone footage, but I have about 25 minutes before I'm going to meet up with a buddy of mine and go have dinner. And 
this is disgusting. I'm sorry, I have gum in my mouth. That's that's, that's actually really rude. Um, and that was probably even disgusting me just taking and throwing it away. But uh, I have about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go take some pictures. I'm not gonna bring all my camera stuff because I just don't want to carry it all. But I'm gonna just take some photo photography shots uh, of some like railroad, the uh, railroad stuff. Pretty much just stuff way over here and over there. But I will report to you guys probably later on or something. Probably back at my place. Sorry if it was all out of focus. I'm sorry. I probably will have to just redo it all over again. I'm sorry. And it's rude. To, I'm just a pile of mess right now because I was looking to the, the screen instead of looking to the lens. But I will see you guys in a second. Bye. Good morning, guys. How are you? So... Uh, I am back in my location where I was yesterday, and I really am obsessed with that building right there. So I'm going to take my drone up this morning, and I'm going to fly it around. Uh, I have about three hours to kill before I go to work. I normally uh, go to the gym and do all that stuff in the morning, but since like around 2 o'clock, the wind's gonna go from about six miles an hour to about 14, so I wanna go ahead and get all my drone footage shot today. And yeah, worst case scenario, that I'll come back tomorrow morning and just shoot some more stuff. But it's just, it'll be nice to be a day ahead. And then I'm probably gonna do some time lapse stuff as well. So, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> So there's this one, I've already taken the drone up already and I shot over by the university. Well, there's this little shot over here by this creek that if it, if I get down close enough and I shoot it at the angle that I'm thinking of, it's gonna look kinda cool. It's gonna look a lot bigger, a lot more epic than it really is. Literally just this right here. But I think if I get my drone down far enough and I do a, just a small little scan over, I could possibly do something that looked kind of cool. So I'm gonna get my drone, gonna do that shot, then I'm gonna go further back down, because I was down that way yesterday afternoon, and I'm gonna take it right by the Missouri River, I'm gonna fly around over there too. Let's have fun, guys. Alright, so there's one more shot I wanted to get before I was pretty much good to go on like the shot list I wrote today. Um, I just want to shoot some of the Missouri River, that's all, really. Hey guys, so it's Saturday like early afternoon and I've been driving for about a solid, I would say a solid hour and I have just, I'm in literally nowhere fucking Missouri and I pulled over to the side of the road because I found this field over here that might be really cool to lift my drone up and fly. <music> So, uh, I'm about done editing. Uh, I just have to do a little bit of a closing thing right now. So, I think this is where I'm going to end this vlog this week. And 
The thing I wanted to show you guys is that I'm about to go on a trip next week. And so for the trip, I thought I'd get a GoPro. I wasn't ever, I wasn't planning on getting it. The only reason why I got it is because it's normally a hundred and like, I think 50 bucks or something like that. But it was on sale at Target for I think $49.99 and there's like one left so yeah but I had this little bad boy for the longest time actually not that long I'm, I'm lying I actually had it for about four days and then it broke uh, but it only shot in 720 this one shoots in full 1080 HD and it has a waterproof camera and everything like that but I thought I would take it out of the case and show you what it is because I've been waiting to do it to film it so here we go. Uh, so the brand is just Activon CX. But I don't think you guys can see that because I think it's blowing out the light right now. There we go. Alright, so you got some stickers. You have a little packet. A little... A battery. Charger. And then you drop it on its head and that's how you break it. So this is what it looks like outside the case. Nothing. It's a little bit more boxy than a GoPro. So I'm going to sit here and play with this and finish editing. But I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you've gotten this far, you might as well just give a thumbs up. It'd be awesome. It'd be really cool. As well as subscribe. And go check out my podcast. The link will be down in the bottom. Uh, check out Aaron's stuff as well. His link will be down in the bottom. But yeah, so next week uh, we'll be in a different city, guys. Because uh, it's the end of the month. So that means it means it's another trip. And I already have next month's trip already uh, planned out as well. So we're good to go. And I might even have the month after that already planned out. So that'll be April, May. So, yeah, I have up till May, and then in June or July, I would like to go to Hawaii, because I haven't been back home. I, so, little fact is that place that I grew up the most would be Hawaii, and so I plan on going back there and visiting, because it's been about two years. So, yeah, I will see you guys next week in a different city. Until then, adios.